the energy. I was like, what is this? How did I make it here? Like, I'm so lucky. It was this beautiful thing. Can we make this work? I could not stop sobbing and I would run over to Adam and I'd be like, my looks gorgeous, look at what we're doing. And he was like, okay, stop crying. Makeup's gonna kill me. Very excited to chat with you both. Uh, like I said before we started, Journey to Bethlehem is a very sweet movie. It's very charming. I love that it gives this refreshing twist to an iconic tale. Uh, I'll start with Fiona and then Milo. What about the project really sparked both of your interests to want to be a part of it? I think the first point of interest was kind of getting the, the audition. And I didn't have <clears throat> a lot of information yet, but I'm very drawn to any sort of projects or stories that communicate something that, um, you know, whether it's values or I don't, just things that I feel are very essential to mankind and are lost very easily to where we just get really disheartened about it. We're like, yeah, well, whatever. And that's a little bit dangerous when we start losing such precious things that you feel. So that was the first thing. And then when I spoke to Adam and I heard his vision about you know, putting just color and something that makes you feel good and reinstilling how vital it is to believe in something, period, whatever it is, right? And uh, and then the musical aspect of it. And then I started finding out who was kind of on board and it just all started becoming this, I was like, this is a dream. This is like the stuff I was dreaming about when I was a little kid. So, and then it just became more and more beautiful as I met everyone and we started filming. Yeah, it did feel like a dream. I definitely agree with that. Um, the reason I was drawn to it at first was because of the music. I'm a musical man myself. I love doing musicals. And uh, every single song was amazing. As I listened to it, I fell more in love with it. And then I read the script. And I at first, I was a little nervous because I was I loved it. Um, but I wanted to make sure I respected it and uh, did the duty of Joseph. And um it was important to me that I made sure I could honor that well. Um, and as, you know, I read the script and got more into it and talked with Fiona and Adam, I realized Fiona kind of said this, but it's a reminder that we all need right now of love, following your heart. It seems like uh, we're lacking some of the things in the world that, that we need that this movie has. You both mentioned the musical element of it. Milo comes from, uh, you know, the Zombies franchise and has plenty of musical experience there. But as far as on screen, this is really your first musical experience. You know, was there any trepidation or was it more excitement of getting to explore that field uh, for this movie? Uh, luckily, I had a little bit of... You know, well, not a little bit. I, I I guess I just mean general familiarity with music because I grew up in a family with many musicians and things of the sort. But doing a musical, yeah, that was a whole other world. And I was I was terrified, but I was like, all right, on top of everything, we're playing Mary. No time to be scared. I always enjoyed, you know, singing and I play the piano and things of the sort. But I definitely did not have the training or the capacity uh, voice wise to do that. So it was a lot of coaching. Um, Adam and Alex were wonderful and worked so hard with me. So that was, a, that was a whole adventure. And it was a very beautiful gift to actually have found my voice in that sense through this project. But once we were on set, it was, it was so easy because there was so much, you know, everybody was in sync and we knew what we were going for. And there was this playful, like, like a spirit of play to it to where it just it just flowed beautifully. So everyone made me feel like I, I felt like carried and taken care of. So it was so much fun. It's my favorite thing now, definitely. And Milo, you were talking about following your heart and all the good, beautiful things that this movie has that is very important to leave cool. out. No so I got, I got through basically what I wanted to say, but <laughs> there yes, we go. That, to wrap that up, but I don't, even know, I don't even know the question. You just asked Fiona, but yeah, it's all up. I was just <laughs> I was essentially asking her what it was like to have her first musical on screen in comparison to yourself, where you have, like you were saying before, that tenure, uh, uh, especially with the zombie franchise of, of exploring uh, the musical field. Um, but uh, this question will now come to both of you. I mean, the, the relationship between Mary and Joseph is obviously one of the bigger heart point. Eh the heart of this movie. Right. Uh, and I'm curious what that was like, you know, for both of you 
finding that dynamic and that chemistry off camera during prep uh, before going into shooting. I'm trying to think of a way to say this without like making it sound like I'm giving myself a compliment, but it was very important to Adam that he just cast the people, right? We met each other in Spain. Um, I already knew that we were gonna hit it off just based off of what Adam had said, but we, I think we both started with different mindsets and sort of found where we were going together as time went on. I was really nervous that I wasn't going to like bring something about Joseph that was really important. And when I, uh, I don't, and I didn't know what it was. I just felt like I was missing something. And then I met Fiona and she had all of that. And like all of the, I wanted to make sure I honored it. And uh, when I met Fiona and we started reading the scenes together, I, I wasn't nervous anymore. I didn't get worried about it being wrong or interpreted wrong. And I also realized that Joseph I don't have to be that hard on myself playing Joseph because, you know, he navigated it just as any good man would do. You know, he's he's just a human being. Um, and I think once I wrapped my head around that, it was a lot easier. And it took Fiona to help me realize that. It was also for a while just, you know, because we were working on the music in Madrid first. So it was him and I and the crew and Adam and Alex and everyone. So it was really fun because we got a lot of time to go through the characters with Adam and kind of put the story together. But it's so easy when you have a beautiful human being to work with who's also really, uh, who really cares about that kind of synchronization, if you will, of what we were both being there for each other, being there for each other. Exactly. We're yeah. very similar actors, which mm -hmm. I think really um, helped us. Yeah. And the last thing I want to say, because I know that I keep cutting out, but <laughs> you're good. You're here. We hear you. No, right. Like these, it's going to be so long. I'm not going to say it anymore, but I'll try to get it through it quickly. But these musical <laughs> movies, we, we flew to, it's a huge production. It's really hard to not get caught up in it all. And it's really important for a good performance that you're comfortable and okay being vulnerable and just are at ease, uh, you know, for the most part. You, you need to be okay to begin, and then you can go where you need to go. And it's really hard to just be chill in an environment like that. But having Fiona and, and Adam, but mostly Fiona, we were able to chill and just do it the way we had practiced doing it and not let everything get to us. We had each other. And I'm I'm grateful for you for that. So thank you. Likewise, my what the man that. said. <laughs> Try to, I love I, that. That's my Wi-Fi scaring me. So sorry. <laughs> <I'm not rushing. laughs> Well, we still got you. So we'll we'll try to keep you while we can. Um, cool. Fiona, I'm actually going to come to you for this next one. Um, you both have talked about, you know, your individual character arcs. And one thing I love about this movie is that it really paints Mary as a you know powerful, independent woman, something that we don't often see. And I'm curious what you felt was really the key, uh, whether it be in the script or in, you know, her the actual character uh, that really helped you connect with her to bring her to life on screen? I think it was, it, the, the first part would have been the script, but I think the, the more you know about something, the more uh, it started becoming more real and like just her as a human being. And, you know, I watched every possible film I could find on other actresses who have played Mary, uh, anything I could read, anything I could get my hands on. I was, you know, just, and suddenly you start to get this feel of who she was, but because at the end of the day, it's a character that it was up to me to also in this film and in this project, give her, you know, a, a new color and whatever we were all looking for here. It, it was a bit terrifying to like have the responsibility of like, okay, wh wh who is my Mary? Like, what wh what am I going to do with, with this? Because you have the prime matter of a script and of everyone's idea, but then it's up to you. Um, I think I think it was really easy once I understood the help and the purpose she had and just kind of dreaming of that. And that's something I really connected to because uh, I feel like that myself as, as a person and, and and I also thought about just mothers in general. My mother, um, she's been a beautiful example of such a strong woman. Uh, and I, I, I just did homework just on a human basis of what, what's it like when you're holding, you know, your child in your arms and, you know, all these little things that start 
essentially putting a person together. When we scenes where she was pregnant, off camera all the time, she was touching her stomach, like making sure the baby oh, yeah. was <laughs> Like it just, it, it took her over. Yeah, it was, yeah. Oh, I have, if I already loved children, I have the worst baby fever possible <laughs> after doing that film. It was yeah. beautiful, it was divine. It, yeah, it was very easy to fall in love with that character. Yeah. I love that. And I love that you pulled from so many different areas, including your own personal experience. That's great. Mm -hmm. Milo, I'm going to come to you next with, uh, you know, a similar question. You've talked about the responsibility of bringing Joseph to life. And he is someone who, much like Mary, is trying to find himself and his beliefs. What was it like? You know, what what about the character, whether it was in the script or the real life inspiration that really helped you connect? to him to bring him to life great question and the first thing i did was like scour scour the internet for all the joseph stuff i could find um which by the way he's not talked about that much which was surprising to me but um every interpretation was sort of like different and i was like oh this is really up for me to you know make these decisions and be bold with but the big the big thing that i really wanted to get across was him going from a boy to a man and uh, because of Mary. Um, and I didn't even want to like get too specific in how to do that. But I think when you meet him, he's clearly juvenile, childish, fun, though. And uh, towards the third act of the movie, you see him sort of shift his mindset and turn on like daddy mode a little bit and protect my woman mode. And that was just the the aspect of his story that I really wanted to highlight. Um, and. I think I did it. I don't know. But in there's one part in the script where it was it was we totally changed it, but it was written uh, where, you know, Mary ends up distracting a guard so that we can go through. And originally, I think Joseph came up with this big contraption to distract him. And I loved it because it was like a oh, he's finally doing something to help her like for real. But it ended up just being so much funnier, A, and B, probably more accurate than Mary took charge. <laughs> like, did something. But I I read that the first in the first script, and I kept that, even though we lost it. Uh, yeah, I love that. Uh, I didn't even realize that that was uh, the original plan, but that's hilarious. Um, but it, it oh, makes it, 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 it true, and it makes the character more lively. Before I let both of you go, I'd love to know what your favorite uh, song was to perform form in this movie look this is a big question people are asking and i'm i want to say each song at one point was my favorite i had like a two-week period where i was really going through every song can we make this work we'll always have a special place in my heart and the ultimate deception i guess was very it was a very fulfilling to finish for me as an actor but um and then watching just all the solo songs mother to a savior in my blood good to be king watching them shine ridiculous and those three kings how can you top them see i can't pick one fiona you <laughs> uh <clears throat> the i i also uh, i mean performance wise of course oh gee i don't know they they, they were all such a different kind of world but M mary's getting married of course was so much fun and it was also i think it was our first day on set there's just Whoa. magic in there we're all like all right ready let's go and it was just this the energy, I was like, what is this? How did I make it here? Like, I'm so lucky. It was this beautiful thing. Can we make this work? I could not stop sobbing and I would run over to Adam and I'd be like, my little looks gorgeous. Look at what we're doing. And he was like, okay, stop crying. Makeup's going to kill me. That one was I beautiful. Think, and then yeah. mother, yeah, no, I was, you were amazing. And no, I was going to say, I think the only time I cried other than on film was the first day. I wasn't even working. I was just watching you do Mary's Getting Married. And I was Aww. like, it's real. It's real. I yeah, was that, that's when it hits that it's real. And then Mother to a Savior, of course, was such an intimate thing. It, it, it was it was beautiful. I had so much fun. And everyone else's songs as well are so fun. And I was constantly listening to them, too. And it was beautiful to see on screen, finally. It was gorgeous, yeah. I just need to share one moment I had. I was driving in my car before we shot this movie, listening to the demo version of Mother to a Savior. Uh, and then this huge group of like 10 like high school boys walked by hearing me listen to this like super <laughs> emotional like woman singing this song 
And they just looked at me and gave me a weird look. Uh, and I just wanted to mention that, but it was funny. Yeah. I, I, love the song. <laughs> I love the songs. I had to. When, when I, I heard the demos, I was like, how am I going to do this? I was like, ow. So you did, funny. Girl. You did it. You both did it uh, phenomenally. I'm not, I will admit, I'm not normally a musical fan, but I did love this movie and I loved the music throughout. So uh, kudos to both of you and to everybody you worked with. I really cannot wait to spread the word about it. And thank you very much for taking the time. I, I do greatly appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. That means the world. The thank you.